Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Homosexuality or lesbianism is a death sentence for humanity. Cuts off the continuation of the human race. You can quote me on that as well. Now think for a second because these people pride themselves on being scientific. And they always come to you, you religious people are so emotional. It's such a simple scientific fact. Can't you just accept that that's the way it is? Let us give them some science. In scientific terminology, the definition of a species is, quote, a particular subgroup able to replicate itself through sexual reproduction. You may care to write that down. So it is a subgroup able to replicate itself through sexual reproduction. That is a species. A subgroup that can replicate itself through sexual reproduction. And some include asexual reproduction, but that has to do with plants and such. We're talking about this particular topic, sexual reproduction. That is a species. So, if you gather together a Puerto Rican man and a, man from Mo and a woman from Mozambique, and they get married, and they consummate the marriage, if the woman is fertile and the man is able to uh, do his duties regarding fertility as well, and she carries the child to term and it's born, this is clear evidence that the man from Mozambique and the Puerto Rican woman are both human. Why? Because they have delivered offspring. That means they're from the same species. They have to be the same species, which is what? Human. They have to be human, otherwise they could not deliver. Why? Remember Joseph Stalin's experiment failed with lowland gorillas paired with human women. I'll remind you of that. So in the 19, early 1950s, late 40s, lowland gorillas were paired with human women who incidentally all died during the experiment. But they were paired with them in order to attempt to bring about, through sexual reproduction, a new species of super soldier. Fortunately, our ulama beat them to the punch. Sheikh Mohammed bin Ibrahim gave a fatwa in the 40s that is impermissible to make genetic soldiers even for a good cause. But that's digressing. The main point is, is that a species was not capable of coming from those two groups being brought together through normal sexual reproductive function. That means they're not from the same subgroup. A gorilla is a gorilla. It's not human. And the female is not a gorilla. So by understanding that, you can see what a subgroup is. Different dogs, different types of cats, but they all belong to the same cat family of felinus. Whether it's a lion, a female lion mating with a male tiger or what have you, they produce offspring. They produce a liger, a jackrabbit and a, uh, a white forest rabbit, right? They produce rabbits. A German shepherd and a Doberman, a border collie and a golden retriever. They're all producing. Now, they will produce hybrids, but they're all producing what? They're producing dogs which means they're from the same species of what? Caninus. Now ask yourself this question. Two men come together. Both healthy. One from Mozambique and the other one from Puerto Rico. We'll just keep the same countries. And they come together. They're both capable of physical reproduction. And they engage in whatever cop physical coplings they do. They're incapable of producing a species. They're incapable of producing or replicating themselves. Which means what? Does it mean that what they're doing is from the same species? No, they're both human, but their subgroup is wrong. They're incapable of reproducing, which means what? Which means they're not a species. 
If homosexuality was a viable form of speciation, they would have been able to replicate themselves through normal sexual reproduction. The same, sta the same stands to be the case for lesbian couplings or transgender couplings. The same thing stands for these. Otherwise, they wouldn't have needed the go-between of a man impregnating a woman who is bisexual or lesbian in order to produce the child that these women want where they say we have two mommies now. Otherwise, one of these mommies would have been able to reproduce through normal sexual reproduction. So, when looking at this issue of homosexuality, when someone should tell you, let's be scientific about this. Fine, let's be scientific. Name one homosexual, homosexual kingdom throughout history that's up until this day. First of all, you mentioned the speciation issue. Secondly, mention kingdom. There isn't one. You know why? Because if you carry on like that, what happens to the human race? They die out. If a human race, if a human species or any subgroup within it cannot replicate itself to sustain its growth and to continue its development, what happens? It dies. It dies. And so the people that tell you that they are scientific, that they're right thinking, that they're pragmatic, they're not being pragmatic. They're more emotional than the person who is a Muslim that they're accusing of being emotional. The Muslim's just thinking flat out in terms of what Allah has revealed and that the human race needs to continue. Homosexuality or lesbianism is a death sentence for humanity. Cuts off the continuation of the human race. You can quote me on that as well. In the year 1401, the world received a rude awakening when a number of momentous events unfolded. One of these is that homosexuality was removed by the psychiatric board in the United States from being a mental and psychs and physical disorder, not from findings in new evidence, but rather the threat of a lawsuit due to discrimination. So, the psychiatric board in the United States, the largest institution that deals with psychiatric and physiological diseases. Up until 1401, the which would correspond on the CAFR date, I believe, to 1979-1980. Up until that date, homosexuality, lesbianism, transsexuality, transgenderism, were listed as psychological and physiological maladies. The beginnings of the quote-unquote gay rights or pink lobby in gaining ground was such that they threatened this organization with a lawsuit if they continued to leave that on the books because it was taken by the gay rights groups that this action of leaving it on the books and proclaiming homosexuality as a disorder or a malady was discrimination. Ya Allah, bestow your mercy upon us in this time of need. If homosexuality was a viable form of speciation, they would have been able to replicate themselves through normal sexual reproduction. The same, sta the same stands to be the case for lesbian couplings or transgender couplings. Homosexuality or lesbianism is a death sentence for humanity. Cuts off the continuation of the human race. You can quote me on that as well.